Hey, this is Kevin Mullet, and I wanted to come to you today with a quick tip. This is something that we share with our social media clients, and I'm going to share it with you today. So Twitter uh, doesn't do a really good job about letting you search back in your Twitter stream very far. Um, and there are tools that you can use for this. So, for example, you could use Post Post. Um, that's a pretty decent tool, and it allows you to, to go back and search your stream for hashtags and mentions and so forth. Uh, Tornal uh, is another one that will allow you to go back a little ways on that, and you can uh, also search for mentions, but you have to pay if you want to see mentions. It'll give you your stream, but you have to pay for mentions. Uh, Twine Machine is another one. Uh, but again, it has a max of 3,200 that it will go and retrieve. So if you're particularly active or for whatever reason you just want to go way back, you don't have those tweets. So there's a new uh, service out that is um, really pretty cool. And we're going to talk specifically today about how to make it uh, uh, keep your tweets. And it's called If This Then That. Okay, and so right here what we see is the dashboard for if this then that and there are all kinds of channels or connections that you can make with it. Um, and so before we do that though we're going to go into Twitter and because you want to be logged in Twitter when you start this process and I am going to, I'm on the old Twitter here but the new one is basically the same. You want to go to your account settings and you want to go to the notifications tab and we're just going to make sure that we are getting emailed when somebody mentions us, uh, when we receive a direct message, um, when uh, somebody starts following us, etc. You choose the ones that you want. I'm going to suggest that you allow them all to come in, and then I'm going to show you how to filter it here in a minute. So we want to make sure that that's saved, and then we'll just go back to our normal timeline. And we're going to jump over to If This Then That. And we're going to go to the, you obviously have to sign up for an account. And then uh, we're going to go to the channels tab. And we're going to find in the channels tab the Twitter icon. And this is going to do a simple authorization for your Twitter account, which is why I wanted you to log in. So we're going to activate that. It'll bring up the OAuth. We say yes. We want to make sure that we are on the correct account and then we will authorize it. It'll bounce us back over to if this then that and we have that channel connected. Now what we need to do is we need to go create a task and that's where if this then that really shines because you can create all of these tasks. So we click on the task button, create a new task, they step you through it pretty pretty simply. Say if this, click on this, and we're going to go back and find that Twitter account. Now we're going to say what the trigger is that we want to have happen. And you can see there's a bunch of different options that we have here. We're going to select the new tweet by you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn on retweets and at replies. And then I'm going to say create the trigger. Now you can choose now where you want to send it to and there's a bunch of different options you can set it to a Daigo bookmarking account you could send it to Evernote you could send it to your Dropbox I've even tried sending it to a Google Calendar which produced some kind of interesting results but what what my favorite one is is to send it to uh, your uh, Gmail account because you can then very quickly and very easily search through that and you can filter it so I'm going to go ahead and click email. That's where I want to send it to. And I say send me an email when this action happens. So again, we've chosen that every time that we send out a new tweet, we want it to send us an email. And you can see that the subject here is, if I click in here, it says that the subject is the text. If we look over here to the right, we can see that that's the Twitter text that is what it's going to put in the subject. You could change this if you would like but I do think that the Twitter text is the most logical because as you're skimming through it you would be able to see what it is that you're searching for. In the body of it they have pre-populated it with the username. 
well, that's not really useful for me um, overall. So what I'm going to do is to put my cursor here in the front, and I'm going to add that Twitter text in here. So I select Twitter text and then say add that in. After doing that, I'm also going to select to show me a link to the tweet because I may actually want to go reference that tweet uh, because I might be able to see threads and who retweeted it and see other things that Twitter will show me and they still have it in their system they just don't go back uh, and show it to you via their search so now I have the parameters set up you can add the creation date if you want but of course when the email comes in is the date that it was created so you can create some options like that I'm going to say to create the action, and I'll give it a you know some kind of a description. These are my tweets, and say create that task. Now I don't have to put anything in to filter because I'm going to filter it uh, via the Google um, utility itself. So let's switch over. This this task is created. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch over to my Gmail account. And um, what I actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my Twitter account and I'm going to compose a tweet and send that out. And that should send us our first one. And then what I can do is jump over to my Gmail account and hit refresh and I'm waiting for that to come in. This could take as much as you know five minutes or more for this to come in. So we'll wait here for this. And when that comes in, what it's going to give us is a task code. And that's what we're looking for so that we can filter that message. All right, so after about five minutes, or maybe a little less, this pops in and it says, if you have not tried if yet, uh, this is the tweet that, of course, that I put out. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to click on that tweet and then we're going to go to the more section. You might also want to go ahead and say always display images because you're going to trust that. Um, and you really want to see this down here. Um, as a matter of fact, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this task number. And then I'm going to go up to more and I'm going to say filter messages like these. So we're going to filter messages from action at ift.com. And what we're going to do is, is we are going to look for um, has the words task 580122 in uh, the body of it. And um, we're going to go ahead and create the filter with the search. And then it's going to give us some options. And, you know, again, you can pick whichever ones you like, but I'm going to say skip the inbox because I don't want it to come to my phone. I don't want it to actually show up as something I need to take action on. It's just a backup. Um, and I know that I can go get it. So I'm going to say skip the inbox. I'm going to say apply the label. And then I'm going to go ahead. I already have the label Twitter created, so I'm going to apply that label to it. I'm going to say never send it to spam and oh, um, never mark as important. And then I'm going to say also apply to this one matching item that we already have there and create the filter. And boom, now we have all of those items. If we look over here on the, the left, I can click on my Twitter items and right there will be um, all of the messages that we tweet out and if we send an at reply to somebody and that uh, you know those type of messages so that we can always go back and look at those at a later time so that's uh, just a real quick tip um, so it's called if this then that so it's I F T T T dot com pretty simple to set up and I hope that helps you. I'm Kevin Mullet with Cirrus ABS and we help people with digital marketing, online marketing and social media. Have a great day.